Hey folks, I thought I'd make another brief video, this one to show you how to install Sublime Text. Now, Sublime Text is a, a text editor and uh, although some folks like it, some folks don't, it's very popular. So I thought uh, for those of you who wanted to know how to get it, I'll show you. So first off we go to Google, we type Sublime 3, and we go to this little link here. Just make sure it says Sublime Text down below. And there's OS X, Windows, 64, and 32. Now my machine is 32, but you should probably select 64 and click on the Ubuntu. Even though this is for Debian, um, Ubuntu, we're just going to do it in a slightly different way. Now once we know it's there, we open the folder. That gives us the name. Now we can go ahead and type sudo dpkg downloads, sublime text, build. The name that we have in that file is basically what we're typing. Okay. And it's done. So that was pretty quick. Now we go ahead and launch it by hitting the super button and type sublime and as you can tell it's ready. And it's, it has that big unregistered. Now if you have the registration you can click on the help here. And that's going to give you a little window where you can add your license. Now, of course, uh, it would be a bad idea if I gave you mine, so <laughs> sorry about that. But um, it's not that bad, because uh, you can actually uh, use it without the license. It doesn't really like limit your options. So now I'm just going to type a really quick Python script, um, just something quick, just a button program, just to show you what you can do inside of Sublime Text. Now let's save it on the desktop. OK, let's continue. Okay, so we're defining our function, and that's just going to change the label, say configure, the text is going to say a button is pressed once we've done it, and our root is going to equal to TK, uh, that's the TK program, uh, those of you who know Python should be familiar with it, if you're not, just follow along. Okay, we've got our label, and we're going to put it on a grid, and our button is going to be defined as button, and it's going to have a text. And the command is change lab. So when we press it, it's going to activate change lab. Okay, so now that we are done, let's go ahead and first change to our desktop. What we usually do. From here, let's add um, executability, which is 755 or plus X. And when we try to run it, ah! Okay, I didn't have Python TK installed. So this is just a lesson. That's why I left it here. Sometimes if you don't have it, don't panic. Just follow the instructions. And as you can tell, we're installing it. As soon as we do, we should be able to run it. Now let's try our little program again. See it down there? Okay, well, let's see. Press it. There it is. That's all it's going to do. Nothing else. We could have added more, but that wasn't the point. So that was the conventional way of running a Python script through the terminal. But in Sublime Text, you can actually do it even faster simply by hitting Control B on the keyboard. And if you look down here, you'll see the button. We press it, it works just like we did before. And we can go ahead and close it. It'll tell us how long it ran. We can even do Control. Um, this little tilde or the little slash over here and that will show you the console. You can look at all the commands in here and see where they come from. So a lot of functions but of course those of you who have been running Sublime I probably don't need to tell you any of that. To those of you who are beginners though you might want to explore some of those features. So there is an install and as I showed you a quick run through of a Python script. Um, everything else I'm sure you will figure it out now that it's there. So if you do have any questions of course let me know. I'm, I am a bit busy sometimes, so if I don't answer, I apologize, but I will do my best. Okay, thanks a lot, and take care.